I searched high and low for a month trying to find the solution to an audio drift problem through OBS to an Elgato capture card. And in 30 seconds, I can show you how to fix this so you never have an audio drift problem ever again. Hi guys, my name's Annette Clover. I went out and I bought a HD 60S Plus and I hooked it up through my PlayStation 4 to OBS Studios. I did everything that the tutorials were telling me to do. However, I could not could not fix this insane audio desync, audio drifting from the gameplay to the game audio. Everything else was working fine and in time. However, there was nothing I could do about fixing this problem. I watched so many tutorials and I scoured the internet trying to find a solution. And no matter what, nothing seemed to work. And then I found this and I don't know why nobody's addressed it sooner. It is so simple. It's This fix will set you out and you won't have this problem ever again. I've been streaming for about 40 hours now, opposed to the four that I did prior. And in this 40 hours, my audio has been on point the entire time. The previous four hours, man, after 10 minutes, my audio was out by a second. After an hour, my audio was out by more than eight seconds and it just kept getting worse. The audio drift was insane. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive on into OBS now. And I'm gonna show you how to fix this so that you can grow as a streamer. Come on, let's jump in. A quick disclaimer, I'm not going to tell you to clap and measure the millisecond difference between when the sound goes off and when the actual animation happens. That is not the fix that I am going to get you to do. One, because that only works for the moment that you set up that delay. Everything after that will continue to drift. And unless you want to go back every 10 minutes and test the audio, that's just not a viable solution. All right, guys, now that we're in our OBS Studios, I want you to come on down here to the source section. I want you to hit the little plus, and I want you to add the Elgato capture card as a video capture device. Create a new one. I want you to select your Elgato capture card from the drop down list. Next, what I'd like you to do is scroll down the bottom here, and I want you to disable the buffering to start with. And this isn't the full solution, this only fixes a tiny little bit. Back when Elgato capture cards, or capture cards in general, were added onto OBS, this was a fix for a problem that they had four or five years ago. However, now it's not current. It actually creates more problems than it solves. It adds insane audio latency to your videos. And it sacrifices audio to make sure that the picture quality is at its finest. And this is not what we want to start with. Once you've hit OK, it'll be added into your sources. Next, what I'd like you to do is come on into your audio mixer and I want you to mute and hide this uh, audio file that's here. This is where the problem comes from. So mute it, hide it, hit the little cog next to it and hide it completely. From what I understand, the problem comes from that audio file being linked to the video file at the same time. So. Being that it's sending two packets through the exact same link is where everything kind of goes amiss because the Elgato capture cards are designed to make sure that the video quality is at optimal point and sometimes the audio starts to drift because of this. Next what I want you to do is add another source. Hit the little plus and add an audio input capture. Select your Elgato capture card from the drop down list and hit OK. So now you have a separate audio and video file being sent through from your Elgato capture card to OBS Studios. And this fixes the problem. I also have another recommendation that'll fix another problem that arises with the audio delay. Go onto the Elgato website if you're using an Elgato capture card. There'll be a link in the description below. Also, there's a link to my Facebook page Check it out. I'm streaming there every single day at the moment. If you have any questions, let me know. And double check that your specific capture card doesn't have an already preset video delay. Mine, the HDS60 Plus, has a 200 millisecond delay added in to make sure that the quality of video and packet size of the file is able to be read and then transferred through to OBS smoothly without dropping frames or without losing any quality. And with, because of this, it aids the audio desync. If you find that your capture card does have an audio delay, 
make sure that you add a desync to it to make sure that the audio and video line up perfectly. To do this, click on your Elgato capture card over in the sources and go filter. Come on up here and add a video delay async of the exact millisecond that the Elgato website tells you your device has. Hit OK and apply and that should fix that problem as well. Alright guys, and like I said earlier, I streamed my very first stream for an hour before I even realized that my audio was out of sync. My audience couldn't even enjoy my gameplay. I really do hope this has helped you guys out. Please leave a like and a comment below if it has. And if it hasn't, let me know as well. I might be able to find a solution to your problems. Not everyone has the exact same devices or software. So no one solution is correct. However, this is something that has been drastically overlooked by a lot of content creators and tutorials out there trying to help you guys. This is my very first YouTube video and it might not be as clean and as crisp as I'd like. However, I'm happy that it's out here helping you guys get your stream to the quality you need it to be to grow. At the moment, I'm streaming over on Facebook. I don't have a consistent roster yet because I'm still figuring everything out. However, I do have the next month off because of COVID. So who knows? I might be there every single day. However, if my content over here starts to take off and get some traction and I really am helping you guys, then I might even move my channel over here and make YouTube my permanent home. We'll see what happens in that department. But for now, I really hope this has helped guys. Again, leave a like, leave a comment. My name's Ineb Clover. Happy streaming.